This is Eyewitness News, now at 4. Can technology teach you to be more empathetic? I'm Denise Tudor. How a local medical school is using virtual reality to teach future doctors how to be more compassionate. The story coming up on Eyewitness News. Medical students learn the science behind what causes diseases, but it's harder to teach them how sick patients feel. Now, UCI Medical School is giving future doctors a new high-tech tool to help them develop empathy and understanding. Circle of Health reporter Denise Dore explains how virtual reality is giving students a new perspective. I'd like to do a test of your cognitive function. You're in the shoes of someone who has macular degeneration and a hearing impairment. Medical student Tara Zand is a caring person, but this foray into virtual reality is teaching her how to be even more understanding. The experience kind of shows you things that I would have never been able to see on my own, and how that might be embarrassing for the patient. Maybe they don't want to say they can't hear or see. I think empathy is probably one of the core things to being a physician. UCI School of Medicine's Dr. Warren Weekman and his colleagues are the first in Southern California to use virtual reality to teach future doctors empathy. How that patient lives or how that patient deals with those chronic issues on a regular basis and I think that virtual reality creates opportunities for them to learn how to do that. Other virtual reality scenarios include what it's like to have Alzheimer's or to face a language barrier. The next part is to find out if these lessons have changed behavior. And so this is where we have a standardized patient actor that pretends to be the patient that they just were in virtual reality. Students treat the role-playing patients and are assessed on their empathy. I think some people probably um, are more attuned to others, but I think it would be, it's such an important piece that I wouldn't want to leave it to chance. Tara knows these lessons will help her when she works in the ER. I wanted to be the doctor there with the skills, with the knowledge, with the tools to help somebody on their worst day. Many in Tara's generation grew up on smartphones and video games, which doesn't always foster face-to-face -face communication. Now, technology is being used to teach young doctors how to build trusting relationships. That part needs to be stronger in this next generation of physicians, and I'm glad that we get to play a part in teaching them how to do that. In Irvine, Denise Tador, ABC7 Eyewitness News.